You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Brunch. When Caillou woke up, he was very excited because today was a special day. <gasps> Gilbert, it's Mommy's day and I made her a present. Look! Where's Mommy? I thought I'd let her sleep in this morning. I'm bringing her coffee. was very proud to have wrapped his gift all by himself. He couldn't wait to give it to Mommy. Happy birthday, Mommy! Thank you, Caillou. But it's not my birthday today, it's Mother's Day. And this must be my Mother's Day present. Open it! I have an even better idea. Why don't we open it during brunch? What's brunch? It's breakfast and lunch at the same time. Since this is Mommy's special day, we're taking her to brunch at a restaurant. Yay! Feast! <laughs> Good morning, sir. Madam, would you follow me? Your table is ready. Caillou had never been called sir before. He really enjoyed being treated like a grown-up. The food is on the tables over there. We go and serve ourselves. It's called a buffet. Here you go, sweetie. We have to take our plates with us. Those people were here first, Caillou. We have to wait in line until it's our turn to get the food. Caillou had never seen so much food before. He didn't know where to begin. my plate. Okay, but be careful. Walk very slowly. Uh, oh. It's all right, sweetie. Someone will clean it up. But I think I should carry it back to the table, okay? Caillou was disappointed. He really wanted to show Mommy that he could do it himself. Don't you like your food, Caillou? I'm not hungry anymore. Can we go home now? I think I see something that might cheer you up. Doesn't Mommy get a cake with candles? They don't usually do that for Mother's Day, Caillou. How about you choose whatever you want? Maybe I can arrange something, if that's what the young gentleman wants. Yay! Happy birthday! Oops! <laughs> I mean, happy Mommy's Day, Mommy. Thank you, Caillou. Would you like to help me blow out the candle? <gasps> Open my gift now, Mommy. It's my favorite car. You can play with it all day. Thank you. This is the best Mother's Day ever. Caillou to the rescue. Caillou was having fun pretending to be a lion tamer. The only problem was, he couldn't get his lion to cooperate. Come on, Gilbert, jump! Like this! Ta-da! Oh! Come back! <laughs> there you are! Caillou was a little scared by the dog, but Gilbert was much more afraid. Gilbert! Come down, Gilbert! The doggy's gone now! Look! It's your favorite mousy mouse! 
He was so high up in the tree. Are you worried that Gilbert might fall? This ladder isn't tall enough to reach Gilbert. We have to get him down. And we will. But we have to get help from someone with a taller ladder. Caillou sure was excited to see the firefighters in their big red truck. Eric? Is that you? It sure is. Hey! Long time no see. You know my daddy? Caillou was impressed that daddy knew a firefighter. I sure do. Your dad and I used to play together when we were kids. My name is Eric. What's yours? Caillou. It's nice to meet you, Caillou. Now, let's get your kitty down from the tree. Okay, Stacy. Let's set the ladder up. We'll have him down in a jiffy. You don't mind if I borrow this, do you? Thanks. There you are, Gilbert. Come here. Look what I've got. Caillou was amazed at how high the fire truck ladder could go. Up and up. He could never climb as high as Stacy could. Gotcha. Yay! <laughs> Gilbert! Thank you so much. My pleasure. Can I look inside the truck? I have a better idea. Why don't you come to the fire station for a tour? If that's okay with your daddy. Can we? That would be fun. Can we ride in the truck? <laughs> no problem. Yay! Hey. Do. That one rings the fire bell on top of the truck. Go ahead, Caillou. Push it. <laughs> I can do it myself, Daddy. Caillou wanted to be a big boy and get out of the truck like his father and Eric. But it wasn't as easy as he thought. Um, it's a little too far down, Caillou. Let me help you. This is where we keep our coats and boots. It's important to have them ready so we can move quickly in an emergency. These boots are really big and heavy. <laughs> Why don't you try one on for size? <laughs> Maybe you're not quite big enough to fill a firefighter's boots. <laughs> Yet. It's also very important to keep the truck in tip-top shape at all times. <laughs> I see Sparky has given you the official fire station welcome. What's he doing here? Sparky works here. He's a fire dog. He sniffs out fires to make sure that we've put them all out. <laughs> this is Sparky's favorite game. Why don't you play with him, Caillou? When we're upstairs and the alarm goes off, we just slide down this pole and presto, we're ready for action. It's really high. Oh, you get used to it. When I first started, I found it a bit scary. 
But you know, with a little practice, it doesn't bother me anymore. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, we've got to go. Duty calls. Come back soon. I think you have a little firefighter on your hands. Kayu thought the pole seemed awfully high. He wasn't so sure he could ever slide down that pole, but Daddy knew the perfect place for Caillou to practice. Whee! <laughs> Ta-da! Very good. Keep up the practice and you'll be a firefighter in no time. Don't worry, Gilbert. Firefighter Caillou will rescue you. See? I saved you. Aren't you glad I'm a firefighter? Caillou's top bunk. Caillou and Rosie were really excited about spending the weekend at Grandma and Grandpa's. Rosie, do it! You're too little, Rosie. There you are. Grandma, I'm staying at your house tonight. Bye, Caillou. Mm. Bye, Rosie. Mm. But Caillou, wait! Well, where's my bed? This is my sewing room now, Caillou. You and your sister will be sharing a room. I don't want to share a room with Rosie. Are you sure, Caillou? I think you'll change your mind when you see Grandpa's surprise. <gasps> a surprise? It's right in here. Wow! <laughs> Yay! Surprise, Caillou! Bunk beds! I want the top bunk! I want it! No, Rosie. I get to sleep on top. Rosie, too! You see, Rosie, it's too high for you. You have to be a little bigger to sleep in the top bunk, Rosie. You'll be happier in the lower one. Time for bed! Aw, but we're playing in our fort! You can play fort again tomorrow. Do you need some help getting up to bed, Caillou? No, I can do it by myself. <sighs> it was easy. Good night, Caillou. Go right to sleep now. Okay, Grandma. Good night. Caillou was so excited about being on the top bunk that he had a hard time sleeping. Things looked very different from up there. The floor looked awfully far away. Rosie, you awake? Don't worry, Teddy. <gasps> oh, no! Teddy? Rosie, help me get Teddy! Okay! Rosie was too scared to climb the ladder. The top bunk seemed very high up. He wasn't so sure he wanted to climb all the way up the ladder again. Good morning. Ah. So you didn't sleep up top after all, Caillou? No. Teddy was too scared, so we stayed down here. <laughs> Recipe for fun! I'm first! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Grandma? Grandpa? Hello? Nobody's there! Here, let me try. I want to do it, Daddy! Hello there. 
Hi, Dad. Bye, Caillou. Have fun. Daddy had a few errands to run today. Caillou was staying over until he came back. Bye, Daddy. Grandpa, I have a new toy, a top. It spins on the floor and makes noises and lights up. Did you bring it? Yeah, in my bag. Oh, no! Caillou couldn't believe it. His daddy was leaving with his toys. Caillou was very upset. He really wanted to show Grandpa how he could spin his top. Oh, you can show me your toy when your dad gets back. Come on, let's go see what Grandma's up to. Caillou, I'm so glad to see you. Hi, Grandma. Well, I'll leave you two then. I'm off to the store. Uh, I'll be back before you know it. Hi. I just noticed that Caillou forgot his bag in the car. Oh, great. Thank you. Hello. Hi there. What a nice surprise. What's the matter, Caillou? You usually love gardening. Daddy left with my top. It spins and makes lots of noise. That sounds like a very nice toy. But maybe we can find something else to have fun with instead. No! I want to play with my top. Well, that's too bad because I think I found something. What is it? It's a potato. And I bet that we could have as much fun with this potato as with any toy. Nice talking to you. Now, see you soon. Now, there's something I was supposed to do. What was it again? Oh, of course. I have to go to the store. Grandpa had forgotten all about Caillou's bag, and so did Caillou because he was starting to have a lot of fun. <laughs> I found another one. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have the potato, please? I want to do it. I'd better cut the potato, but you can get some paper. Look at that, a footprint. That's exactly what we're going to do with these pieces of potato. We're going to make prints. It's a tree. That's right. What's yours? <laughs> An egg. Hey, you two. Having fun? Yes. Did you pick up some eggs? I noticed we were out. Let's see, bread, milk, anything else in here? Nope, no eggs. Here's an egg, Grandpa. Look at that, it certainly is. Well, I guess I'd better go back to the store for the eggs Grandma needs. Can I go? I can bring my picture so we don't forget. That's a great idea. Grandpa, look, there's a dinosaur on the box. Do you think there's a real dinosaur inside? No, <laughs> it's only cereal. You're probably right. Now, let's see. What is it that we came here to buy again? Eggs. That's right. Do you think you can find where the eggs are? This way. Hey, wait for me. Look, Grandpa, potatoes. <laughs> I don't think we'll need any of those. Grandpa? Well, I usually get those. Whoa! You have to be very careful with the eggs, Caillou. Why? Because they break very easily. Like this? Exactly! Grandma, look! I carried the eggs all the way home and I didn't break them. Caillou learned that eggs are very fragile. And I showed Grandpa where they were in the store. 
Caillou's drawing came in very handy. I'm making vegetable soup. Mmm, and not just any soup. The best vegetable soup in the whole wide world. Look at all this. Say, these almost look like two eyes. <laughs> and this is a nose. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, look at that. Can I borrow the nose to put in my soup? Daddy! You left with my toys. But I gave your bag to Grandpa. Oh, dear. Caillou, I guess I forgot to give you your bag. I'm sorry. Well, I'll be. Your toys were here the whole time. But we had fun anyways, right, Caillou? Daddy, I went to the store with Grandpa. That sounds like fun. Daddy, look! Here you go, Caillou. Do you want to show me your toy now? No, I want to go home and show Mommy my drawings. Potatoes? I used a potato to draw with. I picked it out of the garden, and then Grandma cut it in half, and we used it to make pretty pictures. And that's how Caillou found out there were lots of ways of having fun, even without his toys.